I'm feeling this though. This is a vibe. Yeah, this is yeah, a good one. Still. Yeah, I told good, you guys good, this good. would be the episode. Good. Welcome to Players Play Podcast. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. No playing around. Let's get into it. I have my. I'm Tashai. I'm here with my co-host. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Shay, and we're here with our two guests. I go by the name of Demo. <laughs> and my name is Randy. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So my question for you guys: Would you rather be successful, like by yourself? You know, you come up alone or whatever. Or get successful and find your partner later on. And I asked, I asked this question before my story, and I think you you like that question because I see <laughs> that's a good question. He looks excited. He, he looks excited. It. He that, it. that one hit a little different though. Like, <laughs> uh, I guess I'll lead on this then. Like, um, I think if you're able to be blessed enough to find somebody that you can work with and you mm-hmm. can figure it out with them, mm-hmm. do that because I feel like it's very important to have emotional, consistent support along the journey. Mm-hmm. However. A lot of times, relationships require a lot of, you know, output from an individual, whether it be with their time, their finances, their energy. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you need to, you know, keep some of that, you know, internal within yourself so that you can focus. Because Mm -hmm. you always want to make sure, at least as a a man, like you want to make sure you try to provide, you try to be there, Mm -hmm. you try to be able to afford, you know, to keep your woman happy, whether Mm -hmm. it be whatever it is. And sometimes it's it costs too much, not even financially, but too much of your time you need to put into, for me, like I make music and stuff. So like I have to be in the studio a lot. Mm-hmm. I have to be, you know, working with other artists. Mm-hmm. If I see an opportunity that's going to change my life, I'll take that over just kicking up sometimes because in my mind, what I'm doing is for us anyways. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Right. But your partner might see it like, oh, it's always money over me. Or it's like, oh, you're going to do this and forget about me. So if someone could understand that you're hungry and ambitious and you're pursuing something and they will take a little bit less right now while you're on the come up, Mm -hmm. I think you should definitely rock with that because it's more rewarding to make it to the top of someone you stay down with. When you make it to the top and you're successful, it's like you start to question why people fuck with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, are we allowed to cuss on this? Yeah. (laughs) You start to wonder why people fuck with you. Like, are you you rocking with me now because I'm popping? Because once you're popping... It's that's harder to filter out what's real and what's fake. That's right. Mm-hmm. People are going to gas everything you do, mm-hmm. yep. say they love you and whatever. Like, now mm-hmm. I'm hearing it from everybody and anybody. But when somebody loved you before you were, not to say before you're somebody, because we're always somebody, people. You're always somebody. You're always somebody. <laughs> <laughs> before you're somebody, then you yeah. know it's real. Because before I had bread, before I had the success, you still rock with me. So. It's definitely harder to find somebody when you're, like, in a very successful position. Yeah. It's hard for you to determine whether people are after your assets or they're after you as a person. But at the same time... I feel like, based off of experience, like when you talk to somebody who's in a, a position when it's very easy for you to make it clear that you're not there for for the material things mm-hmm. or for their assets. It's, mm. You're really trying to get to know somebody at the end of the day. But I would say that mm-hmm. if you're going to choose to look for somebody or look for a partner when you're successful, mm-hmm. the chances are it's going to be a lot tougher for you to decipher between people who want you for who you are versus mm. what you have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I completely agree with that, honestly. And if you're already successful, I think that your standards have probably changed as well. Mm-hmm. And you're not wrong for that. Yeah. If you do seek men that are, you know, at your level or are earning, you know, within a certain tax bracket, I don't think you're wrong to want that anymore. Mm-hmm. Mainly because you are already at that point. Whereas, you know, if you're not there, should you be asked? I guess that could lead into another question. If you're not there, <laughs> so I'm just going to get into the question then. Do you think that... If you are not at a certain level, Wait, then you that should... that is the next question. That's so crazy. <laughs> is it actually? Yeah, it's, 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 it's if you're broke, should you be dating? I was going to touch on this, too. Hold I was going to touch on this. Wait, wait, wait. I was going to say broke, though. No. Don't <laughs> <laughs> make We don't got to say broke. You don't got to say broke. But, yeah, if you do not have... You're not at a certain point in your life, mm-hmm. is it wrong for you to be seeking these things in other people? No, because you got to work on yourself. Because you, that goes back to what we were just talking about. Like, mm. you got to... Like work on yourself before you can be a hundred percent in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Like you need to be very confident. And let's be real. Like when you in the talking stages of being in a relationship, mm-hmm. that it doesn't necessarily always involve money because you can do sentimental things that don't require a lot of money. But mm-hmm. you're gonna feel uncomfortable. There's gonna be a lot of circumstances where you feel like you want to provide for that person. If you're not a hundred percent and you're not in your bag or you're not focused on your career or maybe you're in a space where like you're transitioning and you're trying to figure stuff out, mm-hmm. it's just gonna make things a little bit harder. I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think personally, but I agree like, with that. But like, if you're a real one, you know, if you're broke or not, it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? Like, 
they're going to be with that person. And I feel like if we listen to a lot of true love stories, a lot of them take place when they were down. They were not, they didn't have much. But. And that's where the love came. It's timing. And it's timing. It's, it's timing? Like, it's timing because like, I was going to say this earlier. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. No, no, go ahead. I'm 26. I just turned 26 or 26 years old. And I feel like. I've had that phase where I've tried to be there for people who are not up. I've tried to be that rider. I've tried mm. to be down. And at the same time, it's kind of dragged me down. Like mm -hmm. it's held me back. And when you're trying to do, especially in a relationship, a girl and a man, when a girl does better than a man, it doesn't necessarily sit right with that man. I'm just going to, I does, it depends on, Evil. on the, on the breed, but a lot She's of right. times men don't necessarily feel comfortable with it demasculates them because they feel like as a man I'm the breadwinner breadwinner I should be able to provide for you versus a girl who's going to you know give give be the the person who wears the pants in the relationship as mm -hmm. some would say right, yeah right so, right yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah no, that's that's a good point that's a good point <laughs> yeah. it's tricky stuff I'm on both sides of so, the table okay so another question so if your woman makes more than you should you feel away as a man I don't know. You can answer as a man. I, yeah. I can't answer that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, there's only us too, we can't so answer that. I guess I, I should be so I, I Okay, it gets crazy. Like, I've been in situations. Yeah. I wouldn't even say I have been in a situation where a woman makes more money than me, but I've also been in a situation where people come from different upbringings than me. So, like, mm -hmm. for me, I come from like a family. Like, I've been poor, I've mm -hmm. been homeless before, I've been through poverty, mm -hmm. and like, I've dated people that's been always sheltered, taken care of. So, like, mm -hmm. there's a disconnect with expectations sometimes because for them, something that's regular requires a lot more for mm. me because I'm worried about I need to make sure my mom's straight I need mm. to make sure my nieces and nephews are good mm. my sisters are taken care of once I'm done that mm -hmm. I have to make sure one I can fulfill my own needs like I make sure my car note if it's paid for my gas whatever mm -hmm. but Facts. my regular duties my bills yeah. yeah. now if you have a partner mm -hmm. and you're worrying about all those things because that's just how I'm wired in my brain and I, you know what I mean I work regular jobs I make hourly I make wage money and I just hustle on the side, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. Legal hustle on the side. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to like fulfill people's needs or what becomes normal to them. Because if you don't pay any bills, for example, I've dated like girls like where their parents are basically taking yeah. care of them. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. that they're working jobs and making much money, more money than me, but I work my job, you work your job, you don't have any expenses. I have a shitload of expenses. Now you're looking at me like, all right, so when's the next time we're going here and here? And I'm like, mm. right now is not the best move for me. Mm. Some girls require and they need someone that can keep up with the uh, traveling, yeah. the dates out once a week. Mm. But then imagine on the other side of the scale, like I'm just going to play devil's advocate, like mm -hmm. as a woman in that relationship, imagine like you being like, yo, I'm in a place, I've worked this hard mm -hmm. to get where I'm at. Like I have the funds, I can afford it. And I'm, I, I've been in that situation. It's like, I don't mind paying. Like I'm, I'm going to, if you're my man, I'm going to mm -hmm. take care of you. If you're down, I'm going to, I'm going to be that. Have you for a first date before? 100%. If I invite you somewhere... Did, but did you look at him That's how I see If I invite you somewhere... If I invited you, you out, then yeah. I'm going to take care of it. If but you invite wait, me out, wait, wait, I'm going to... We need you, some more rounds like in the schmuck. We need some more rounds. <laughs> <laughs> Go for did, it. Did you look at him away after you paid? Like, don't lie. Because, like, I know y'all be posting on Twitter, like, yo, I just paid for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> what fuck is you talking about? Like, let's get into it. Like, I'm let's, not going to... Okay. Like, I would on. be. I would be lying if I told you it didn't cross my mind in my head to be like, yo, like, you know... What's I feel it? like as a man, you're going to be like, I, she pulled out her wallet, yeah. but I'm still going to pay. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a test, like to see. Mm. But I know that test. Not the test. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I want to see if she's going to pull out her wallet. Okay, cool. And then you pay. But I'm like, feel that. there has been a situation where I have paid and it's mm -hmm. like, I'm not going to lie. It did cross my mind. Like, why didn't he just like, you know, yeah, try to yeah. take why over? He, now I'm looking at him a little weird. So, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, it's like, yo, I think there's like two ways to look at this question though. Are, is it people that are up? Okay, like, let me just kind of keep this real quick. I don't want to go on too long about this. You have to also understand, and this is kind of where I was leading with my last point, where people come from. If you come from a family, for example, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to break it down to this. Let's just say one family, you have two parents raising you. One, mm -hmm. you have a single mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One family, you have two parents that are investing for 18 years of your life to make sure you're good for school. Mm -hmm. The other one, you have one parent with four kids struggling to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you look at those odds, mm -hmm. more than likely, and I've... I don't know why I always, I'm always in these situations. Like the, a lot of the women I've I've dated are in those kind of situations where they've just had more shelter growing up. Like, yeah. Not to say you're destined, but you're more secure in a sense that there's less for you to worry about. Mm -hmm. Right. As a man, not only are you looking to provide for your women, you're worried about your family. Mm -hmm. So if you don't hit a lick early in life in your young adulthood, um, if you don't make certain right decisions, if you wasted the money a lot of stupid stuff like I have with like partying and traveling when it wasn't the right 
money play, mm -hmm. you can find yourself in a situation where you're still chasing the next step and you want to do all the things that requires, but you have to take a step back and find a way to invest into yourself before you're just fulfilling what you want to do. Because if you do it now before you can truly afford to do it comfortably, you'll never be in a space where you can do it comfortably. So you have to take a seat back. I, I see where you're, like, even creatively, it can yeah, kind of affect you because you're mm -hmm. not going to be able to, you know, spend that extra money because you have so much obligations. You have obligations. to save have more to bank now. Yeah, you have mm -hmm. to, yeah. yeah. And, but, but couldn't we also say being sheltered also limits you in a way? Because, I, you know, you have everything and you think it's easy mm -hmm. and everything should be at your means. But it just doesn't work out for those mm -hmm. people as well because they don't have those tests. They don't have those tough times. Yeah, they've never actually had to go and through anything. And a lot of people who are wealthy, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this or witnessed it, but a lot of times when I've grown up around people who have had it all, they usually try and bring themselves <laughs> yes. to... They want to feel... They want to go the to the hood. Like, yeah, they want to yeah. go to the hood. They want to have that hood experience even though yeah. they don't this have does to do happen. that. Yes. They want to experience yes. that because they don't mm -hmm. have that. They, they never have grew up having it. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a good point. That's a good point. No, facts. I agree. That's actually a good point. But um, moving on to my next question... um. So if you have a partner, do you think that it's smart to be in business with them? How do you feel about being in business with your partner as a business partner? Let me tackle this one first. Okay, go ahead. I think that so long as you guys hmm. are kind of seeing eye to eye with the vision of this business, you're both, you know, vibrating on the same energy frequency in terms of you know, getting stuff done. Mm. If you guys are good business partners, you guys can work together. Mm. I see no problem with it. You guys just need to, you know, communicate. Make sure that you know who's taking care of this, who's taking care of that. Okay, set the deadlines. Act like it's a business. Rose, yeah. mm. I personally nice. think that doing this can actually strengthen your relationship and show that you two can actually work together. Because mm -hmm. working together in a business is a very tricky thing. Yep. So if you can do that... Like I feel like there's just so much more than you can that you can actually do. I want to add to that. I mm. want to add on to the fact that like yes, that that I believe in that. I mm -hmm. think that's correct. If that works for you personally, mm -hmm. I don't shit where I eat. Mm. Like that's just my that's just my rule. But in that situation, I feel like you still need to prepare for if things were not to work out. Yeah. If exactly. our relationship wasn't supposed to work out, are mm. we going to be petty? Yeah. yeah. There's mm. money. There might be money. There might be investments that are involved in this. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, if things don't work out between us, are we mature enough to sort this out and make sure that things go the way that yeah. they're supposed go to the so we that... don't lose over... It's just like custody battles and marriages yep. and stuff like yeah. that. That's yeah. where things get tricky. Facts. So I agree. Yeah. And, and to add off of that, we're going to add off the add off. Oh, <laughs> I keep, keep adding on. Add on. Keep adding on. And we're here for it. Again, like, and what Randy just said, like, I just, I believe in it because it's like, yo, some people might be uncomfortable with a conversation when it's business wise to get into contractual stuff. Mm. But if it's business and you're not my partner, I'm, people are signing contracts. Mm. So if you're all my partner and we have money invested, mm. as much as everything's lovely now, we might get to a point down the road where it's not. Mm. Now, personally, for me, because I know how hard I work, I'm never going to put, put myself in a situation where I don't sort out those details legally and responsibly ahead of time where that mm. people can come back and take what I have from me once I get to a point. Mm. So regardless how much I love you and you're my partner, I believe in what we're doing right now. Maybe you're gonna have to sign on papers because if we don't figure <laughs> that out, I'm just being real. Right, so business if we don't figure that out now, so when I get to a bag and, it's, and oh, I'm getting attention from other people and you don't like that, whatever, boom, 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 and you're like, oh, I did that, run me my. Nah, I'm not dealing with that. So, so let me ask you this though. So if your girl, you know, she was doing like some, she had like an oil company or whatever, like yeah. lashes, whatever, and she just, you know, she was struggling or whatever, would you just give her that, like, extra change or like would you help her would with I help her to fund her stuff yeah if I had the bread to do so I would 100% encourage that but again back to like would, our would you want something from it though no 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 no. if you have the means to do so and that's not affecting what if you don't have the means if you don't have the means to you do guys so, are both coming up if you don't have the means to do so you'd be silly for doing something like that only because you as yourself and people have to remember this a relationship mm. or single mm. you yourself have to make your own self an asset mm. you cannot give out to the point where you have nothing left for yourself because mm. As much as you love who you love mm -hmm. and your intention is to be long-term and life-term, things change. And if you mm -hmm. put too much into people mm -hmm. and it changes mm -hmm. and you just were all output and no input, mm -hmm. what are you left with? And mm -hmm. I think as a partner, if your partner is not in a position, you like, I feel like if you, it depends on what stage you are in your relationship or where you're at, but like, at this age, I feel mm -hmm. like when you get into a relationship, for, at least for me, I can speak for myself, is that I'm looking for somebody that I'm trying to build long term. I don't right. have time mm -hmm. for the little in between high school relationships. I feel like if I'm going to be dating you, like mm -hmm. I need to see where where we meet together, like right. mm -hmm. how our life can yeah. be in the next five to ten years. And yeah. you know, part of that comes with finances. And I'm not going to ask my partner for help when I know that you're down. Like mm -hmm. I can't expect you or have an expectation. And you shouldn't have expectations in any way because expectations lead to disappointment. It might what I believe, but. Mm -hmm. 
I would say that like as a partner, I should be watching and asking questions. And if I mm -hmm. don't already know your finances directly, mm -hmm. I should at least have an idea that you're not in the position to help me right now. So why am I asking? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So you have That's a good have a plan, yo. So so if you're in a relationship, should you disclose how much money you have, like dollar amount? If you're comfortable, do it. Yeah. If not, as Randy said, you could like, yo, most importantly, you just have to have a plan and you have to know what you expect. And if it's feasible for you, like, is this situation going to make sense? I don't think you need to disclose anything too early in relationships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At some point, if you guys are building and you guys gotten to the point where, like, okay, we feel like we're doing this. Yeah. I don't believe you should do really anything in secrecy because at that point, like, it's a life... It's a commitment. Yeah. You're Where are we in this relationship? Right? Are we mm -hmm. moving in? Like, mm -hmm. are we? Yeah, like, like, what step are we what at? What step are we at? If we're moving in, for sure, I need to know your finances. I need to know because like the that's a amount. it's just like a landlord. Mm -hmm. I need to, We we should be able to at this point if we're moving in together. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree we with that. need to decide what our finances are yeah. saying because yeah. what if there comes a point and you can't pay your bills? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to be the person on the other yeah, side of the leash. Got to take facts. care of that. So it depends on where we are in that relationship. Obviously, when we go for our first few dates, like I'm going to be like, oh, let me see your social insurance. Like we're not going on the TD. No, it's not one of those. It's just like yeah. it depends on where you are in your relationship. And if we're if you're at, having that conversation with me about us moving in and oh, you want to have my baby, oh, or, mm, oh, oh, mm. you know, there's certain conversations that are coming up, then we need to have you certain financial have conversations. Conversation. Yeah. I need to see where you're at yeah. because even um, we're not even we haven't even got there yet. But like if you're talking to me about having babies and the stuff babies. like that, then yeah, we need for to sure know. I need to see what your finances Who's are saying. For the diapers? Hold on, so hold on. Yeah, the diaper. So, so, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if a man says to you, like, you know, I'm trying to like read, you're gonna be like, okay, what's your bank saying? That's what's on the TD oh, app. My first reaction. That's not gonna be my first reaction. Up, first of all, if, you're, if your first thing that you're saying to me is that I, but I want you to have my probably baby. Probably not gonna say something second to me. Not, it's not making yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Wow. <laughs> We're not having a second conversation. Please no. don't come to me like that. Offer it. So I, I know that that question is based off of the way that I look. So you want me to have your babies because of the way I look. If you're just popping in my DM talking. About, oh, can you have my baby? Then what it has to do with not. So what I look what like. What if they see that there's more in you beyond your How? lips? I don't How did you see you. there's more uh, in me? I don't be around your you. Your face is given <laughs> what? bossy. What? <laughs> What if the face I, is given bossy? I understand that the face card doesn't decline, but you don't know me. So yeah. how are you talking about you want to breed me and you want me to have you know your what? offspring? You know what? Sorry. I Let's... wouldn't slide in with no remark like that. I'm just hypothetically, <laughs> hypothetically for the man. I'm just saying. Like... Nah, honestly though, I think that, that is, that's an issue. If you're sliding with something so bold off Ooh. rip and mm. you expect to have some sort of progress off of that, you got something else coming for you. Right. You really do. Mm. Right. Right. Um, but back to the, to the finance thing, I was going to say me personally, I'll show you if you like, my thing is just stay within your limits. I don't think that it's appropriate to, you know, we're just in the car and you're like, Oh, how much money do you have in your checkings? Right. Like, that's just weird. Why, mm -hmm. why, like, why do you want to know? But if there's a reason for you to ask, I'm not hiding that. Like, as like, and if I pull out my bank account right now and I show you my TFSA too, don't look at me differently. If you see a dollar amount. You know, so that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And I, if I'm in a relationship, I trust you're not going to look at me differently if you know exactly how much money I have, if you know exactly how much money I'm making, all of that stuff. Because at the end of the day, I'm supposed to be open with you. You're supposed to be open with me. So I don't think that that's And it's supposed to be a, a thing. partnership. You know what I'm saying? Like, as I said for myself, like me getting into relationships now, I'm supposed to be seeing longevity. Like, yeah. this is somebody that I see myself spending my life with. Mm -hmm. So obviously in the beginning stages of, the, of that relationship, I'm not going to be like, you'll pull out your TD. Let me see what the, what the, Definitely not. the investments are. Like, I'm not going to do that. But mm -hmm. obviously, as I said, if we're going into conversations about moving in together and getting married or whatever you believe in, in terms of being a long-term relationship, Relationship, then yeah. we do need to sit down and talk about finances. That's a mandatory. Once you get to that point where you guys know that survives, you have to talk about it. But also, I would say, and this is my advice to the man of Manigal, though. <laughs> 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 You're you know, looking into the camera. What you know, <laughs> partner, yo, some things you just got to like, yo, I'm sorry. Some things you just got to keep to yourself. You have to. You always have to keep some things to yourself in the sense of your own security. And I only say that because it's like, yo, so some if you're people, getting married, you have oh, a fiance. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not, not, All married, right, okay, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for that ass. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Mary's a little I don't different. know. It sounds like you're doing the little in-between relationships. This is my thing, though. Mary's a little different. Married is definitely a little different, right? Mm. But until that point where you're going to devote your whole life to somebody, mm -hmm. I still think it's very important to keep your own security in the sense that people love you when they love you and people hate you when they hate you, but like, you never go into a relationship, I don't think, with the intention for it to go sour. I'm sure we've all been in situations mm -hmm. where it has yeah. gone sour. Mm -hmm. When you open up your whole heart, your whole bank account, your whole everything about you to somebody, mm. and they end up leaving you or you leave them and they're leaving with that deep 
dive on your life. Charge it to that, the game. That, you could charge it to the game, but it could also play. be that's that, that can also be dangerous. <laughs> you know what I mean? In in different ways, in different ways. And I don't know like how deep you want to get into it. But yo, if you live with somebody for one year in this country, mm. you're considered it's the same thing as being married to them legally. They're Facts. entitled. It's not one year. It's one year. It's not how one, long is it's it? not one year? It's, it's three. Three? I'm, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's three years. Should it's we, common law. I don't That's what you're talking about, should right? We, common I, law? Should we Google? Yeah, I think we should validate I think that we should information. Google that. So according <laughs> to Canada.ca, to be considered common law partners, they must have cohabitated for at least one year. At least. Okay. Mm. Right. So after at least. a year, mm. I could be just dating a girl for a year, mm-hmm. not even know yet what mm. the vibes is for real. Mm-hmm. Most people probably, I won't say most because I don't know what people do. She might not be out to get me. Mm-hmm. But if she wanted to, she can get me good. She can definitely get you. So, I'll with that being years. said, if I have... Wait, wait. If you're common law, though, what's the... Uh, like, how strong is that in court? It's equal to marriage that, in our mm-hmm. country. Yeah. equal to marriage? Yeah. It's equal to marriage. So, 50% wow. of so my... I just shackle up with a shorty marriage. for a year. Yeah. She yeah. could take half. If you guys have bills mm-hmm. coming to the same crib or you guys, she could prove she live with you That's for years, she could crazy. take half. 100%. That's crazy. Whoa, yeah. I so, you know not what else know I that. Crazy so now, I feel like we're, we're letting everybody know now. Now like, you guys yeah. know. Yo, stay, yo, <laughs> stay, yo, stay, <laughs> stay educated. Stay educated. Stay educated. Stay educated. Stay educated. Stay educated. Until you're ready to move in. Yeah. Um, that. I believe in that. Real shit. Facts. So, yeah, if you have doubts, move out before it becomes a year. A hundred. So, Facts. fam, that being said, imagine I'm dating a girl for a year, bro. We all know we've dated people maybe longer than a year or whatever case may be. Not me. Oh. <laughs> Not me either. Not me. Still. Wait, repeat that. I, I said a, I feel like most of us has dated someone longer than a year. Wait, what's your longest relationship? You haven't. Uh, I haven't either. Uh, <laughs> it's been a long time. I've literally only been in long term relationships. What's your longest? Long queen. My longest relationship was eight years. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> eight years. From eight to sixteen. Yeah, since like it was my first boyfriend. Wait, like how old were you? I was sixteen. Bumbo. Mm-hmm. That's a long time. I'm he's sorry. Been, after that time, if we don't get married, I'm sending together. shooters right to no, your house. That's... T- we're still young, though. 16 is young. Married? Think about it. Though. 16 Wait, to 24? To what are you going to get married question. to? I don't want to dive too much into we it because I know the to. person is going to be watching this. Okay, yeah, we don't want to be Korean. All right, all right, Korean. All right don't say a word. Don't say a word. We're going to keep it rolling. But damn, that's a long time. Think about that, though. You live with a girl for one year, they could take half of what you have. That's crazy. Let's say you have private assets, whether it's overseas bank accounts, I don't have any of those. Me but either. People have them. Yeah, yeah. If you open that person up to that world and you let that information out too yeah. early, they they are come for that. That's crazy. If you that have is it. crazy. I never knew that. I had so no idea. I feel like you need to take your time. Mm. If in your heart you feel, even if it's after a month that you're willing to open up that much, do it. Mm. But while you're still in the phase of filling it out and mm. getting to know someone, mm-hmm. I don't think one year is enough to get to know somebody. In my opinion, I don't. Wait, think it's wait, one. wait, wait. How long should the talking stage be? Can, can, can we, I'm not uh, talking to a girl longer than like. Three to six. After that, if we're talking with the intent to do further than that, and we haven't done it yet, then we can just keep so, doing this. So how long do you think the talking stage should, Like, how long is the talking stage for you? Like, three months? After three months, do you know if you want to be with the girl? It depends on how much I've invested into her. If I'm with her a lot, I would say three months, you'd have an idea. But definitely not just talking. After, and after six months, I still don't know if I want to date you. I'm going to know if after I'm just trying to... After six months, you don't there's know? There's a honeymoon phase. So my, how I long think is the honeymoon phase? The honeymoon phase can it. go anywhere from like three, I would say three to six months. I think yes. after six months, naturally a person is just going to like, you can't keep up that agree. facade or like that that yeah. that act that you have when you're, when you're generally interested in somebody. Mm. And I feel like a lot of this, oh, thank you so much. A lot of this has to go with like even when you're married, like think about when you're in a partnership with somebody for a long term, like a long time. You really get to see that person at their worst, at their best, mm-hmm. when they're sad, when they're That's happy, facts. when they're pregnant, when yep. they're in emotions. Ooh, I got a lot of questions. Like, yeah, go ahead. Go <laughs> for it. Ready to unload it. Have you guys watched Love Is Blind? I, that's what I'm watching right now. That's All my right, shit. So that's my rate, shit. I don't I don't those are you are you familiar with that show? I that's know the shows. Shit. I don't rate those shows though. But this one's different. It's though. so good to watch. This one, Even you if you don't rate it, just watch it. You don't see the person. If I was an idiot, I'd imagine on TV acting. I try to get some reality TV show, but yeah. I'm not gonna lie though, I thought it was fake. Come like, on, it's fake. Yeah, it's rigged. It's rigged. Like, it definitely yeah, like, is. They're forcing you. it. After a week? Yeah, they're forcing it. After a week. I watch you guys American get the point Idol of the experiment, that. experiment though. That's, I do. That, it's the experiment itself. It's just removing that physical attraction from somebody and actually getting to know somebody for who they are. Like, that's what the point of the... Is that possible? But They're doing I, on camera. It's not honestly, real, I, do think, I don't do think it's possible. Do you, you don't think, think it's possible? I don't think it's possible. I think that physical attraction is a good amount it, it of the relationship. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. It is so much of it. I would say, honest, honestly, probably like 50%. So you're going to put me in an experiment and let me experience 50%? 
of what's going on and what's supposed to go on. Come talk to and things. then you're gonna then you're gonna put me in a room with this man who I was fifty percent in love with and expect me to just become hundred percent in love with him. Mm-hmm. It only works if they are and we've actually seen it in the show. Being physically if attracted they are actually other. physically attracted. Mm-hmm. I don't want to spoil good, this for a, anybody. That's, that's a good point. <laughs> but yeah, that's a the good point, one so. couple that the girl walked away as soon as she saw who it was, you could clearly tell yeah, she was right not physically gate. attracted right to him. Wait, 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 can we say names? No, no, no. I don't no, even no. know her name. Oh, that's not good, I hate spoilers. I hate spoilers. Right, don't spoil it for but them. you but know I what I mean? Wanna, I gotta, like if you're not physically attracted to, to someone, mm-hmm. 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 okay, if you're if you know if you're gonna holler at somebody in person, mm-hmm. off rip, mm-hmm. first thing you see, physical attraction. I'm not gonna approach someone because I think he has a good personality. Are you crazy? That's not how it works. You see someone on Instagram, you want to DM someone, holla at somebody, Thank slide you. in the DMs, mm, you mm. are physically attracted to them. You want to then explore if that emotional attraction is there as well. So that experiment, honestly, like, yeah, it's sure, it's, it's entertainment. But I think that's why I said the face is giving the given show. Bossy. This is why I said the face And then you see that they are forcing this love on that wait, person wait, wait, after. Wait, what do you guys go I'm on the show? I'm not there right huh? now. I'm going on the show because, like, to be honest, like, I'm a random ass nigga. Like, I would really just go on the show for some random. I'm not. I'm just saying, like, I would really want to see some different shit. And I feel like, depending on my dating life at the time, I no, would probably No, but that's what the show is about. Those people are looking for marriage. They're looking for somebody to settle down with. And I feel like they pick, they pick candidates mm. that have already had their trials. They, yeah. They, whatever they've been trying in real life is not working and they're ready to settle down Mm-mm. with one person. Yeah. And they think that when you're in a, in a marriage, think about marriages in general. You get old, you get saggy, mm. your dick don't get hard. There's a lot of things Ooh. that come with Ooh. getting older in a marriage. Mm-hmm. And that is a part of being in a partnership with somebody is being able to accept them yeah. when your physical is, is deteriorating. Yeah. When you get old with somebody, you are no longer cute you're yeah. no longer your sex drive declines all of that stuff happens so removing that physical attraction that's not what it's about they're trying yeah. to find a partner that they can count on that they can raise a family with that mm-hmm. when they're down they know when they're at their worst that that person's going to count on them if you're in yeah. a place right now where you are you know for sure that if that person is not you're not physically attracted to them then you are not ready to settle down with one person for the rest of your life mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. when you get old with somebody and you pick that person mm-hmm. that person's not going to look like how they look right now forever right. Mm-hmm. That's so, a good point. That's so that, a good point. that physical aspect is going to yeah. be removed from from it when you're in a marriage because i don't know about anybody else but when you get into a marriage and you plan to spend your life with that person yeah so that's facts you're not going to look how you look now and that's 100. just the reality you know when you see those i have a question i have a question like I'm, I, i'd love to hear it i have a question Go on. do you guys believe that humans can be monogamous. Like, they're meant to be monogamous. See, we were talking about this in the last uh, session. And uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I feel like for men, it's a little different. Like, I agree with that. I so think, do I. Honestly, okay, this is my Women question. Let me, I have to ask a question before I answer your question. How does that work? If there, just, just hear me out. <laughs> so if we had 10 guys... Answer the question with a question. <laughs> no, actually. I have to, just because I want to know what you guys are thinking, like where you guys are at with this. If we were in a room with 10 guys, mm-hmm. out of those 10 guys, how many of those guys do you think would be loyal? 11. Oh, cheating, I thought was what you were going to say. Loyal? Lovely. Negative yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, she <laughs> said... Loyal, loyal. Depends no. what... No. Don't I, swear, I switched don't it on her. This. She I said 11. That I would, <laughs> this is why, got him, don't jump the gun. <laughs> <laughs> I heard, don't I heard it wrong. <laughs> She thought she thought she thought she I'm knew. Screwed. No, no I thought you were gonna say cheating. The last time that I changed the format. See, I and you, you caught me. Yeah. Sorry. What How room much are people we in? Would be... Are we in a room in Toronto? Are we oh, in a room? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, yo, let's take this shot. Not Toronto. Are we? Which what room do? are we in? What's the age group? We're in yeah, Toronto. Let me know the geographical the area. Look, look, look. We're, we're in Toronto. I need room to know. 20 to let me know heights. Yeah, I need to. Let know. me know occupations. Yes, I'm trying to see. What are these guys doing? Let me tell you if they're cheating. Wow. I'm joking. You can't even do that. You can't do that because cheating is a luxury. Moving forward. Out of out of out of the ten. We can get into that too. It's a che- luxury. It's- cheating is a luxury. If you have the bag, she gonna stay Please by your side. Please unload the clip, Randy. You got this one. Wow. You guys don't believe that though, for real? Like, it's a luxury. If, if it was bag, the choice not- of words for me. I'm so sorry. I just it have to be honest. It was the choice of words. I just, I'm just saying, cheating is a luxury. Cheating is so a luxury. So you're saying that we're also in the question. I would retweet that. So status and money give you the me privilege too. to cheat, and you have the right. No, to cheat. not the privilege. Not the problem. privilege. Not the privilege. Modern woman with woman. No, not not modern woman. Because we get warmed up. I learned about. I learned that because she tried to say modern woman could be your mom. Because you don't know who a modern woman is i know I mean, so I'm sorry, gonna, i didn't say modern though no modern women let's take the uh modern out of the what's the problem uh, with women please tell us about ourselves yes. oh my gosh us as a whole they, they want men to um accumulate wealth as men should as, as men as Re- men should retweet what about us i want to accumulate wealth with a man who can accumulate no, wealth with, no, with this me is the, this is the thing with women they want us to you know get to a certain status 
once you get to that certain status, it's like they feel like they're the only woman that want you. Because think of it. There's average men out there, right? Mm -hmm. But if you get to a certain threshold and you're in a certain bracket, mm -hmm. all women want you. Once you get to that bracket. I mean, a Listen, woman... hear me out, though. Let me laugh. Yeah, I'm going to retweet on. before... You see, I'm going to quote retweet him before you jump in. Not yeah, retweet. Thank, thank, I'm thank done you. with him. <laughs> so it's like, once I'm you get to that you. threshold, it's like they think that, you know, you have to continue to be exclusively just with them. But it's like all women want that man. You guys are chasing the same man. And there's limited amount of these men. Demo, you better so you jump in quick before yourself, I let it out. You guys put yourself Please. in a certain situation when you guys are all chasing are that type sure of man. Are you sure about that? What do you expect that type of man? I've seen this topic okay, about there on. being a short of... No, no, no. Hold on. I, I see, I've seen this conversation. And, okay, and, no, no. and, and, and before he even chimes in, yeah. that man probably been shitted on. He, he, you, you don't, you don't okay, know okay so then like develop from it. Become a king out of it. Demo, king. please. Oh. Mm -mm. All mm. I was going to say is that... Mm -hmm. oh, what no, I think no. he's trying to... <clears throat> Thank you. Chime in, brother. What I think he's trying to say is like... Yeah, clear your throat. Clear your throat. Right this is your quote retweet got a lot of breaks right in it. Right. There's a lot of viewers right now. No, you are saying it great. He's struggling to come with. Come no, on. let's be real though. Mm -hmm. Girls want a man that everybody wants, but once everybody wants them, it's a problem. Let's just keep it. A, let's keep it a buck though. Like, okay, so how is it not working? Are vice lying? versa. Are so hold on. Everybody wants a fucking hot girl. It's the same but thing. It's the same thing. thing. It's it's they different. can't handle it. It's different. Women and so men are synonymous. It's no We're different. different. We're different. You but guys are no, valued but... based on how you look. Mm. We're valued about how much we Thank how, you. How, how much we make. You guys are valued based on how you look as well. Yeah. Not as much as guys. Not as much though. Depends on the female. Some people compromise their values to be with an ugly nigga that they do not. They're not physically attracted of just based of the, their their uh, their wealth. Mm -hmm. that, that is fair, but we mm -hmm. can't group us all into one category because we do not all think like that. Amen. Yeah, <laughs> so yo, think about this though, and I don't mean to like break it down to this because it's not this simple. But yo, what bodily enhancements because a man go get right now that's gonna change his? You can grow your knees. You can extend your cock. You can. There's a lot of stuff you can do. You that's can fix your thing, nose. You can get ankle suction. You. you can. You can enhance your muscles. You can do ab, ab carving. Thing, like, if we're gonna can, talk about the enhancements, it's less common, but it does happen. If we're gonna yeah. talk about the enhancements, it's not common, but it's because women it's can enhance themselves. So think about this though. Even if a man, this is crazy. Even if a man, <laughs> even if a man, you know, gets extend though, he does some work on his body. Or he gets some abs or whatever. Yeah. Let's be real though. Yo. Let's be real though. Yo. How many, because of the reality of this dating world and what it is, usually with the man and with the pockets, as we said, yes. even if he does that work on himself, yeah. is there going to be a girl that comes on and be like, oh, okay, you're three wait, inches wait. longer, I'm going to save you, I'm going to spend money on you? No. But wait, no. Wait, 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 if a girl wait. goes and fixes up her body, but who's wrong the man for with the money. That girl? <gasps> who's wrong for wanting the girl? It is the men that are attracted to those women. You guys are attracted to those women. No, no, no. Because girls would not be going to go, well, let me not speak girls on all of them. Hold on, hold on. A lot of girls. A girl, and I'm, I'm happy that you Women can acknowledge to, like, that. Go around However, each other like, hey, girl, I just got my butt done. And does she be like, oh, bitch, it's I love it. Body positivity. But that works for you. It's your body. Do your thing. She's go going to go get her rent paid. And guess what? <gasps> a guy <gasps> is going to pay her rent because that man was attracted you to that. So at, no, 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 no. no. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, she did it to fool a man. Because into, a man's gonna fall for the into, trick. Yeah, exactly. So who's wrong in this case? The girl that went and invested in herself because she knew she was gonna go get her rent paid, or the man who she, fell into I've the trick wow. of providing for I've, her. Wow, that I've is actually a great asked point. questions that to, to, point, to that men. Like I've asked I several. I made this like a <laughs> little research study, and I asked a few different guys mm. about like you know like why do because a lot of men who actually they fuck girls who have their bodies done or they have the, they have Ooh. a certain look. Mm. Not I'm not downplaying because I I support women all all in all. Like we whatever love, you choose to do, you doesn't matter. Yeah. You're beautiful. If you've Facts. got a really beautiful heart and you, whatever you chose to do for your outlook, that is, that is amazing. I support that. Mm -hmm. But based off of the research that I got when I was speaking to men is that they, some of them, mm. they would say that they like to fuck those girls, but that's not the girl they can bring home to mom. They mm. can't bring that girl with the big Maybe you guys should stop BBL sleeping with everybody with and go find your wife. And all that stuff. Not again, I'm not trying to downplay it. Go I find your wife. those girls Basically. are beautiful, but some men, they like, depending on what your status is, where you are in life. Some mm. of those people, they have, you know, families at home. And then there's other guys who work in the industry mm. and those those are the people that they're bringing around them so they're okay with bringing that kind of that kind of breed of girl around and then there's yeah. other guys who have a regular life they have a nine to five they're building a a regular career and it's a professional environment where mm -hmm. they can't have that kind of look mm. so that, that's not the woman they're going to bring home to mom but they're going to fuck those girls though mm -hmm. and they're going to make those girls who actually don't have any work done or they you know they're natural they're all natural and make them feel like they're less than because they don't have the botox in their lips or they don't have the bbl mm. and i think it's just it's just down to your confidence at the end of the day because yeah. like if you want to like i said again if you want to choose to do that for your body that is your choice it's your body 
Mm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. You made that choice. It's up to you. But Bullets. for me personally, I obviously like we all have our insecurities and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. there, I, I would be lying to you if I told you that I haven't looked on Instagram or looked around at my friends and stuff like that and been like, you know what, you know, like, you know, BBO is looking kind of promising. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. at the end of the day, like when I think about it on a long term, I think that I'm beautiful and I think that my interior is also beautiful and I can go to the gym and I can, and I, if you guys follow me on Instagram or on my socials, you would see that I am putting in that work right now. I'm getting that natural BBL. This summer, stay tuned. But just saying, <laughs> just just saying that, like, you know what I mean? It's just about interior. It's about you. And whatever 100. you choose to do is up to you. And mm. yeah, whatever comes with that is kind of what comes with that. Hold on. I have a question, though. That's a fact. Like, how much is the the body enhancement thing you guys were talking about? <laughs> <I know. laughs> I'm just curious. You know, we need to, we need to validate that information. For the madam, for the madam. Are you trying to do it in country or out of country? Not for me. For the <laughs> madam. I just well, want to pass well, it on. Colombia is it. a different price. <laughs> I was going to say, Columbia I is different. out of country um, BBLs so and stuff on, like that are body extendos. <laughs> What did it Wait, take the meat from? Oh, it's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. They be yeah, elongating okay. things. You can really do this? I, yeah. I, I, I thought it was a myth. That's what no, I said. I, I, yeah, yeah, you no, can do this. Do you guys have the facts on this? I don't have much facts. I don't I'm know just how heard about it. Like, if this is oh. medically safe. But, you you know, even I mean, so with BBLs, you go, yeah. you go out of, like, to Columbia or DR, you get, like, half price on your BBL. They're doing things that are just, it's aggressive lipo. That's not even legal in North America. Yeah. You can't do aggressive li lipo in um, North America. And that's why a lot of girls, they will go out of town because it makes them more snatched. I'm part. A lot of girls who do BBLs here, they're not as they're not as um, experienced, I guess, because they don't do the aggressive lipo. Yeah, I mean, mm. yo, man, I'm, I'm gonna get the price figured out for you guys. Oh my god! In yo, town and out of town, we'll, I'm gonna let you guys know. He's got you on the bio. Link in the bio. Please no homo. Like, no, 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 no,